Hey, I'm Brandon. I'm the mixologist here at Bloomer's Frosé and More, and I'm gonna be making four of my favorite drink recipes with you today that you can also make in the comfort of your own home. And as you'll notice in these recipes, we are gonna be using red wine, white wine, vodka, even bourbon, but it doesn't stop there. Bloomer's Frosé actually mixes with beers and even seltzers as well, so the frozen drink combinations are endless. But we're gonna start with my personal favorite, the original Bloomer's Frosé. So let's get started. Let me explain before we start our original Bloomer's Frosé that we always like to start with the base of our drink. So that is one and a half cups of ice and two ounces of Bloomer's Frozen Drink Mix. And now you'll see that we can build just about any drink from this base alone. And so to make it our Frosé, we're gonna take our four ounces of your favorite Rosé, pre-measured, and we're gonna take it all and we're gonna throw it right in the blender one and a half cups of ice, our two ounces of bloomers, make sure you get all that flavor in there, and then your favorite four ounces of rosé, we're going to throw that in there, and you guessed it, we are going to blend until smooth. And now that we blend it until it's smooth, our bloomers original rosé is ready to be served. So you're gonna grab a wine glass or one of your favorite glasses, pour out a nice serving, and enjoy. And don't be afraid to garnish with one of your favorite toppings such as strawberry or maybe mint. Next we'll be making our frozen bourbon lemonade. So just like last time, we are gonna start with the same base, our one and a half cups of ice, and our two ounces of Bloomer's Frosé and more. So we're gonna take that blender, open that back up. We're gonna pour the ice in. Okay, if can't get it all, and then we're gonna pour the bloomers in, just like last time. And then this time for our bourbon lemonade, this is where it differs. We're gonna take a Sauvignon Blanc, three ounces, and then we will also take one ounce of an actual bourbon. And so as we mix these, the flavors themselves are really gonna accentuate well with bloomers and pull out a little bit of the fruit, but at the same time, you're gonna get a little bit of that bite from that bourbon, which I really look forward to. Now let's blend until smooth. And once we blend it in and it's all smooth, we have our frozen bourbon lemonade. But like the drink itself, I wanna keep things interesting, so we're gonna serve this one in a mason jar. I'm gonna fill it up until about below the brim, make it look like a nice and full drink. And then with this one, to keep it even more interesting, keep it very fresh, don't be afraid to add a lemon wedge on the side of the drink or a colorful straw, so it's really like a fun in the sun type of drink. For our third drink, we're gonna be making frozen sangria, and just like the last two, we're gonna be starting with our base, which is our cup and a half of ice and our two ounces of bloomers, and you guessed it, that's going right in the blender. And then the difference this time is you're gonna take one of your favorite red wines, we picked a Cabernet Sauvignon, and we are gonna pour four ounces of that into the mix. And just like that, we're gonna throw the top on and we're getting ready to blend. And once it's nice and smooth, we have our frozen sangria, but it doesn't stop there. We're gonna grab a mason jar just like the last time, but this is really where you can make or break your drink. So you can pick one of your favorite glasses. It doesn't have to be the wine in the mason jar like I've been using. And that's where the creativity really goes through the ceiling, both with the garnish and the glass, and as to well as how you serve. And just like that, we have our frozen sangria. And for our fourth and final drink, we're gonna be making a special one for some of you out there. We're gonna be making a gluten-free vodka frosé. So just like that original frosé, the difference here is you're gonna take your favorite gluten-free vodka and you're gonna take two ounces of that. But before we do that, we gotta start with our base. And just like we've said, that is one and a half cups of ice, as well as two ounces of your bloomers. And we're gonna throw that into the blender. Add the bloomers. And then like I said, two ounces of your favorite gluten-free vodka. That goes right in. We'll throw the top on. 
and we'll blend until it's smooth. Now that we have it smoothed out, we have our gluten-free vodka frosé. And so just like the original Bloomer's frosé, I'm gonna serve that into a nice wine glass. And cheers. And if you were wondering about any other recipes other than the four that I showed you today, we are always updating our recipe decks throughout the year. We both have seasonal winter as well as summer, but we are also constantly making custom recipes too. So don't be afraid to reach out. Otherwise, you can find us at bloomersfrosé.com. Cheers. <laughs>